Hello, the plant doctor is here and the reason for this video is the situation that appeared in a greenhouse where we grow sweet peppers. The reason for this video are unwanted guests that we got really early this year. The first pests that showed up very early, like I said. And the name of those pests is spider mites. And I want to show you what can happen if you don't crawl, if you don't control them on time. And of course, I'll I'll tell you what to do. So let's see what happened. So first of all, I want to show you the first symptom symptoms how you can find that you have spider mites. Very early stage. So you can see here oh, the light levels. Okay, see the yellow spot on leaves. So that what happens when spider mites start to feed on plants, and the yellow spots start to appear here. So if you flip the leaf over. Can't see really well here, but I'll tell you that you will see a very, very fine webbings with the little bugs. So I'm gonna post a picture of spider mites on my website so you can see how they look like. But that's the first symptoms I wanted to show you. And I have one plant where the situation went a little bit too far. So I held this plant for a couple weeks just to show you what can happen if you don't control spider mites. As you can see, it start to get too much of those yellow spots. And if you don't do anything, eventually the plant will die. It will drop all the leaves, everything. And the number of spider mites will be very large. So you will have to spray. But in this situation, it still can be controlled by the biological methods and that's the methods that we use mainly to control our pest population so a very good beneficial insect for the spider mites in this situation and that what we use usually very often it's called phytocilius persimilis so it comes in bottles like this, mixed with vermiculite, like that. So I almost used this bottle, just a little bit left so I can show you how we apply them. So in this bottle, it's about 200 milliliters bottle, so you can see 2000 bugs in there. Once more, you can't see very well here, but I'll let you know. Phytocilius persimilis. It's very aggressive. It's also from the family of mites, but that's the beneficial mite that feeds on spider mites. So very aggressive bug. So, but if it doesn't have food, other mites, it's gonna die. So what we want to do now, we want to release them right on this plant. So on my website I'm gonna post a picture of these bugs too, so you can see how they look like, so you can identify them. So what we're gonna do here, have to sprinkle. And it's best if you put a little bit of these bugs on each infected leaf. Why? Because the bugs, 
good bugs if they have food on one leaf they're not gonna leave that spot until they eat them all and you want you want the good bugs everywhere on a plant so they would take care of this situation as soon as possible so what we do we try to put them on as many leaves as we can so what we want we want to try make sure that nothing falls on the ground and the bottle so the bottle is empty but there's still still some bugs crawling inside so what we want we want to place this bottle on the plant like this let the bugs come out and maybe tomorrow or two days from now I'm gonna have to come back and check and see how many of these beneficial mites we have on each leaf and we have to compare to the number of spider mites and decide if we have to apply more or if the situation will be under control <laughs>